we are going to discuss about method of calculating area of the footing and its dimensions in this case we need to have column service loads allowed bearing capacity of soil approximate thickness of footing from the principle we know stress is equal to force divided by the area so from this equation we can find the area as force divided by stress right now here force is the SLS load stress is the allowable bearing capacity right we need to find the force and the stress to calculate the area of the footing let's consider a work example then we can understand this better here we consider the column load f say f or column load say column load is n 500 kilonewton right now we need to know the allowable bearing capacity this is coming from the soil investigation report so say it's as a q allowable say equals 150 kilonewton per meter square in this example we consider that value right now uh, before calculating this we need to have a approximate weight of the footing now n is the load coming from the column and the footing has a certain weight that also we need to consider when you do the calculation so weight of the base need to be considered now how to calculate the weight of the base there are several methods to calculate the weight of the base we may assume certain thickness for the weight for the base and then we can calculate the weight of the base or else we can assume a certain percentage certain percentage of weight from the column axial load as a weight of the base in this case we consider the weight of base as 7% from the column axial load this could vary but based on our judgment we could consider now the column load for the uh, the total force on the footing can be write as 500 multiplied by 1.0 7 because we consider 7 percent additional weight for the footing this equals 5 3 5 kilo newton right now we know the weight of the base now i think we can calculate the area of the footing right area is equal to force divided by stress right we already know the force 5 3 5 divided by stress is 150 Right, what's the value? It is 3.57 square meter. Now we know the area of the footing. Now our first step is oh, now let's calculate the dimension of the footings. We have to take the square root of this. We say that both length and width are equal. Okay, then the length of the footing will be square root of this value. This will become 1.89 meters. So, in this case, we consider this as a 2 meter for this calculation. Then, we have to consider a certain weight. Now, we have already considered a certain weight for the footing that we have to check whether it is adequate. Uh, let's assume the thickness of the footing as 300 millimeter. Say, thickness of the footing as 300 millimeter. Now, let's see the because now we have assumed certain level, a certain value, it should not now actual thickness should not greater than 150 that should not exceed the allowable bearing capacity with the weight of the footing the pressure under the footing should not exceed allowable bearing capacity that we have to check first we assume certain thickness then let's calculate the weight of the base now we have already calculated the dimensions of the footing now we can calculate the weight of the base weight of base equals 2 multiplied by 2 because we assume both the same say we assume 3.3 millimeter 0.3 meters as the thickness of the foot this becomes 28.8 right say it's assume approximately 29 kilo newton right then we can calculate the total weight now we know the column load this is 500 now we have Putting weight 29, so this total become 529 kilo newton. Right, we know now the total weight of the footing. Now, let's see the 
pressure under the port. So sigma p equals pi two nine divided by two into two. Mm. Right. First way one thirty two point two five. Right. This is less than one hundred fifty. That is the allowable bearing capacity. We consider it is less than the allowable bearing capacity. Therefore, it is okay. One three two. This is okay. Right. Now and also during the design. Now our design is over. Now our sizing is completed. The fourteen sizes are two by two into point three millimeter. And also we have to check whether this uh, thickness of the fourteen is adequate for the punching shear designs and all that. We can do a preliminary estimate of the D using the equation. D should be greater than ten square root n. When there are when you design the fourteen for axial load, that is when you have when the, you don't have a bending moments, you can use this equation as to approximately find the depth of the fourteen. Ten into square root ten. We have already calculated five two nine. From this equation, we can get the thickness as two thirty millimeter. Right. Our our Calculate assume value is three hundred millimeter, so punching shear is also okay. Then the thickness of the footing also okay. Then our sizes of the footing become this is the size of the footing. Right now, I think you are aware of method of calculating footing dimensions and the what are the methods we need to use to calculate the dimensions of the footings. Let's meet again for a new video. Thank you very much for watching our videos.